Suck it in, mum. Suck it in. Um, that's the way. Cameras take 10 pounds off. Oh, hang on. Is it, they add 10 pounds on. They yeah, yeah. Oh. So, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So now you're going to have a video recording it. Yeah, yeah. I already am recording it, Mum. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. I it was if you say out. something embarrassing, it's definitely going on YouTube, Mum. Um, <clears throat> there's no point in travelling around with your mum if you can't uh, get some payback. Anyway, um, uh, we're sitting here in Cat Bar, and I'll show you the view in a minute. But but we've got our feet in buckets of hot water with herbs and you know, massage voodoo, and uh, uh, and uh, we're, we're looking out here over the bay. So the view's pretty obstructed here at the moment, but but it's still, nonetheless, it's still nice looking out and seeing the boats. Yeah, yeah seeing the ocean in the bay. And, uh, and, and, you know, not that you need to see me feet, but, but it's a good, good, good hot water. And after dancing last night, the feet are sore, uh, a foot massage, foot, foot massage is lovely. And so, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's how we're starting our day in Cat Bar. We went and, went and had some faux boar, get a massage, and then I don't know what we're going to do after that. You're going to do your business. Oh, 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 yeah, well, I've got some work to do, Mum says. Um, <laughs> all right, somebody's got to pay for it somehow, I suppose. Okay, so that was a really good massage. Uh, me and Mum both had a, a body massage upstairs, and uh, the difference between a massage um, uh, in Australia and a, and a body massage in Vietnam, um, unless you go to one of those dodgy places in Ho Chi Minh that, that um, doesn't actually give you a massage. Um, uh, but you know those places because the girls always wearing high heels. But here, here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just depends on the girl. Yeah, it does. It does depend on the girl a lot. Um, uh, but, but generally speaking, though, in Australia, if you get a body massage, yeah, they don't massage your hands or your feet. And I work with my hands at home, and my hands are always sore, uh, and uh, and I always feel like. Um, why do I have to tell them that I want my hands massaged as well when, I, when I'm getting a full body massage? Uh, but, but here, they massage your head, massage your hands, massage your feet, you get the hot bucket of water. Um, uh, this yeah. one he did have the hot stones or etc. No, no. That the girl worked, but it had the oil. Yeah. It wasn't a grabby one. No. I, I like this one a lot better yeah. because it was, there was, it was oil, oil, yeah. oil, oil. It was an oil rub. When they don't use oils, they, they it's just they grab, squeeze, grab, grab, squeeze, grab, squeeze. squeeze. So, so I don't know. There's probably a, a name for an oil rub other than an oil rub, um, a relaxing massage or whatever they call it. But still, she still worked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but very happy with this place. Um, I don't really know the name of it. Oh, it's C H A N Massage, uh, 189, number 189 on the waterfront at Cat Bar. Um, uh, this is, we've had a couple of massages in Cat Bar and, and me and Mum are, are massage connoisseurs. Um, so uh, uh, if, if we don't have a massage every two or three days, there's something wrong. Um, and, uh, and sometimes we have two on the same day. And, some, and, and sometimes for two hours. So, um, <laughs> so, so, so you can take our advice that, that this place here, um, at least with these girls, was very good. Um, and it was uh, a nice room with a nice massage table up yeah, there. Yeah. It actually had yeah. a proper massage yeah, table yeah. and not sitting on the chairs that just... Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. Like in Hai Song, you can't get a body massage. They don't have them. Um, every massage place... Well, no, you found one. You found the one yes, that you go yeah, to. Yeah, there's but that one, but it's, one. Yeah, but it's not as good. And... Yeah, yeah, but it's only 100000 for for one hour there at Hai Zong. Um, uh, whereas this was 180 for one hour, so it's a bit dearer. But but 180 includes your tip here. Um, uh, in, yeah, in Hai Zong, in a similar place where we go to get our foot massage, it's normally 100 for the uh, massage, or uh, 120 
for the massage and then and then a hundred tip for an hour. Um, or or in Hoizong they normally give you an hour and fifteen minutes. Um, but but the massages in Hoizong they um, they do hot stones and they do um, walking on your back and they do um, uh, the disco he the heel, heel down my back. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. Do that. Yeah. Up and yeah. down my back. Yeah. And also when they walk on your back, they actually get their, 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 their big toes and dig them right in either side of your spine and then and then jump, you know, like they don't just they don't just walk on your back, um, they actually go down your spine and jump on it. So I always tell them no, I don't, no, don't need that normally, unless they look like they're really light. <laughs> I like it when they kneel on your back and they kind of kneel up each side, uh, yeah, 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 and then turn around and, and, and then kneel back down. Yeah, 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 it's good. yeah, yeah. So, so if that review of a massage doesn't make you want to come to Vietnam, I don't know what will, because um, uh, because what 180 that's 12 dollars, um, 12 dollars for an hour massage, um, you know, yeah, yeah, and. And we've got a beautiful view upstairs. Actually, uh, my room uh, outlooked over the water. Um, you know, but privacy is not a thing in Vietnam. So, so they don't even draw the curtains. You just you know, get your kid off in front of the yeah, whole esplanade. Yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's the view. But, um, uh, but anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, and if you're in Vietnam, uh, let us know uh, where a bit, where a good massage place is if you think you know of a better one. All right, bye. There's just so many beautiful little bays around Cat Bar with, um, <laughs> you know, private resorts uh, as such. Uh, I mean, it's a public beach, but uh, if you're the only, only block of land on the bay, then it might as well be private. Anyway, I'm off to uh, see a friend of um, Tang's. <laughs> so all that rock there, Blasting out of the sides uh, is actually um, a good hard bluestone, I think, and uh, and uh, in Australia we use it for road base and that a lot. But um, uh, but you can see a big mountain of it over there. So they, this is obviously the crushes and that. Uh, but but what a beautiful place to to have a business. Hey, yeah, it's right on the water there. They put it on the barge and it goes straight out of here, probably all over all over the north here. But Anyway, <laughs> love it. Wouldn't you love to make that your office? Yeah. So this is the 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 house, I finally made it to the friend's place and uh, and they've, they've put on lunch for us. And here's the little kids, uh, their kids, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, they've actually got a table to sit at. Uh, and this is lunch. Um, so, so that looks like some mullet that I've, I've catched in the cast net. Um, and some chicken that uh, it's cooked the way that they cook it in Vietnam. Uh, and some vegetables uh, and some uh, tip up, I think. No, pork. <laughs> so, this is typical Vietnamese house now. So, the Vietnamese have got the best hangover cure. I used to think it was bacon and eggs, but it turns out the best hangover cure is more rice wine. A whole kettle full of it. And your chân dài, nó mới đẹp. This mother takes me really nice as well. Xin chào. Xin chào. Hello. 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 Hello.
I said the chicken was a bit light on for me for cooking and eating, and so he brought the, brought the stove out and, and uh, recooked all the chicken for me. <laughs> Just for me. Xin chào, and new guest. Hello. <laughs> At another factory, um, and we're discussing the fire properties of, of this polystyrene foam. But um, a cigarette lighter would solve that problem. <laughs> okay. We, we've had like 20 rice wines or more and we're driving up the road behind an excavator. Um, that sounds right to me. This is what drinking in Vietnam devolves into. Um, is drinking lots of rice wine and, and like this is all of the leftovers but very very many rice wines. Xin chào, xin chào. Hello everyone on YouTube. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> okay. I I very zut say. So uh Vietnam cat bars got uh, a serious stack of ATMs and so uh there's two ATMs down on the Esplanade and there's uh, Bank of Saigon. Uh, but Saigon Bank, the ATM doesn't work for my cards and I've got Vietnamese banks and, uh, and orders the uh, ones on the waterfront. And I've got about you know, six or seven different cards. None of them work in these two, that yeah. lots of ATMs. And so, so you see like a jewelry store like this and sometimes they have a sign that says ATM but it's not an ATM, it's a, an EPFOS machine and they charge you, um, they charge you charge you uh, for the withdrawal um, and they normally charge um, uh, 3% uh, but, but some of the guys will try and charge you uh, 4 or 5% but 3% is the, the going rate. Uh, so anyway, and, and I can draw out 10 million here which is about um, $700 or something. So uh, anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Uh, bring cash to Cat Bar because and le unless you've got a card that you can use here, <laughs> um, there's, there's not many. Okay. Yeah, okay, no, no problem, no problem. So now I've got my money, I'm out the door, um, uh, and we're off to um, Hai Phong. we just got to fix up our bill, and then <coughs> and then uh, we're off to um, Hai Phong today and hopefully buy some machines <laughs> for the factory. Bye bye, Kappa. So this is the view from the top of uh, the little hill near Katba. Um, it, it's a bit of a hike to walk up here, but it's an absolutely stunning view, and and the photos doesn't do it, doesn't do it justice. But um, uh, and this is if we're actually on the top end of the Flamingo Hotel. So down over there is the Flamingo Hotel. This is the the premium hotel which they're, they're obviously not using all of it, but, but what a fantastic view, love it. And uh, me and Tang, we're here uh, in Kappa. So, so we're in the bus, uh, this is right in the middle of the Esplanade at Kappa, is the, the tourist information centre and uh, and and if you fall out the door, it's going to hurt. Um, uh, but so tourist information centre. This is where you catch the bus to, to go back to Haiphong. And and for for tourists, you can get the timetable there. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. There's the timetable right there. So there you go. Um, timetable's there. And and for tourists, they charge one hundred and twenty thousand. Um, for foreigners and for locals, it's a hundred thousand. But on the way here, we only paid a hundred thousand. Um, uh, but these people here are like, no, 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 no. Um, 
uh, tourists are bigger, they, they take up more space, uh, we need 120,000. And this is why you've got to watch this thing when you come yeah. out, because it's a half step. It's yeah, yeah. Half step. Yeah, so, so this, this step's uh, like a funny step here, like, because this is half a step, and, and that's so be careful hopping in and out of the bus. But, um, uh, but we've had a good time, and, uh, and up the Esplanade that way, uh, about uh, 50 metres or 100 metres is the ATM. So, um, <clears throat> but, but like I said, I've got about, you know, five or six cards in my wallet, and not one of them worked in that ATM. Uh, and I went up to Saigon Bank and they didn't work either. So, so uh, the only place I could draw money was from, from one of the jewellery shops that says that they've got um, like an ATM but it's actually an EPFOS machine and then you pay them 3% and then you pay the bank uh, all, more money and so... <laughs> anyway, but what a beautiful day to be heading home. Uh, heading back to Hoizong or Haiphong. Very, very lovely island, Kapalma. Hmm. It's a place I'd come back to. Yep. Enjoy some of the days, and because it didn't have uh, the visitors here at the moment, it's been very easy to get around hmm. and, yeah. and to see things. But, but half the restaurants are closed, and yeah. um, etc. But it's been very, very lovely. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, at the moment, there's no tourists. I, I think the for um, uh, you know. It's got its charm both ways. If there's lots of people here, it's uh, a bit more atmosphere. And, but and on that. Saturday and Sunday, the place is crowded. Yeah, yeah. Saturday and Sunday, yeah. there's a lot of people yeah. around yeah. because they come for the weekend. Yeah. Oh. And the hotel, <coughs> it, better hotels are booked out on Saturday and Sunday. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but it's interesting because uh, this island, the, or this town, is made up of about you know four streets uh, <coughs> and, and it's full of hotels. Uh, and there's a, a one-way road in and out, but um, uh, uh, but the but Tang was saying to me that um, uh, they've got about one percent of the business that they normally have at this time of the year. You know, like like we went out to to a club last night, and we were the only people in the club. <laughs> so and so a whole whole night club, and I think they had oh, I counted about eight staff. Um, and and just me and Tang dancing and drinking. So anyway. <laughs>
this is us uh, getting on the ferry and going off Katma. See these traditional boats are everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have to go over on that. <laughs> yeah, okay, Mum. And then we walk through onto the other boat. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's not rough. And it's not rough. Yeah, well, when it's rough, you're always wondering why you're not at home watching TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They descend on the bus, <laughs> but the right up the street, about a hundred meters up the street, they were all driving. <laughs> the car's on fire. <laughs> Our car. There's smoke coming out of the out of the steering wheel, mum. Out of the back of the steering wheel. The driver's not worried about it though. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I'd be worried about uh, you know being yeah. trapped in a, a fireball. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But but he wound the window down for us. He he obviously knew that it was, you know it's not a big deal. <laughs> We're just choking on plastic fumes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wondered why it was smelling like burning. I'm going, going. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was outside, but but no, no. The car's actually on fire. <laughs> just just get ready to jump out, Mum. <laughs> yeah, it's still smoking, Mum. It's just that we've wound all the windows down now, so the smoke's blowing away quicker.
but, what but, that, what it, would be, but, it, but it's the first time I've ever seen a driver not that worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's a bit man for you. <laughs> Labour, bit of change. Yeah. Yeah. This is Mr. Hong's house.